mini presentation here today that we had planned for the ribbon cutting for this playground. As you can see, it's already being used and we're just gonna let the kiddos enjoy it. We're not gonna do anything like that. It's kind of an untraditional ribbon cutting for us, but we're glad that we're doing it on a day where most of you all can be here with us. Uh, it's not the typical um, procedures, but I think it's nice anyways. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, I wanna, <clears throat> I want to welcome everybody to District 7. Those of you who use this park all the time and live around here, welcome. And those of you who have don't usually come out to this park and District 7, welcome again also. Um, this is our beautiful Father McNeville Park. We're about to start the concerts in the park that is being hosted by our uh, parks department. But I decided that I would piggyback off of their concert so that we could celebrate two two things uh, today. One was the dog park that we just did the ribbon cutting for at five o'clock, and now the ribbon cutting for this playground. Um, before I begin, I'd like to have uh, Captain Valle from the fire department uh, uh, bring, uh, start us off with an invocation, please. Good afternoon, my name is Ruben Bai. I'm the chaplain and a captain for Little Fire Department. I had all this speech planned out. I'm from Mines Road, from District 7, it's awesome. As soon as we walked in, my daughter says, remember when we played zombie tag with these kids we didn't know? And me yelling, watch out and be careful and where kids can learn about gravity and the rules and all these awesome things that the playground can provide. When I were playing, the only reason I'm not playing is because first I look kind of foolish and I'm not wearing my uh, t-shirt. But usually I'm always playing with my kids and this is awesome. I know you said it's not traditional, but I think they all should be like this. Laughter in the background, a really nice day, a beautiful day for everybody be here. So thank you everybody. And give me five seconds and we can pray. I can't say it, everybody be quiet. It's gonna be impossible, right? Everybody with the kids. <laughs> But thank you, Father, for this awesome day. Thank you for the sounds of laughter. Thank you that you give us the ability and the capacity that we can come out here and play. Thank you so much that you take care of every single one of us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Thank you for, thank you for that, um, Captain Valle, for that uh, beautiful prayer. Um, so... Uh, a little bit about this playground. Those of you that remember the old one, uh, during the pandemic, the old one became unsafe for children to use. So we had to take it off, not knowing that it was gonna take a year for the new one to be able to get delivered. And I know a lot of parents were very frustrated and angry, and I know my kids also missed the old playground, but I just want you all to know that we got it here as soon as we could. We got it installed as soon as we could. Part of that was also um, reconfiguring the flooring. Before we had flooring that was tile, that was kind of um, weather torn, so we replaced all of that. Um, so the flooring is new and it's, and it's nice and comfy for the kiddos to play on. We also added, um, this playground right here was two separate playgrounds. This is one and this is one, and we kind of combined them to make one big playground. We color coordinated them. And we wanted colors that were going to stand out because sometimes these playgrounds have colors that blend in and we wanted something that was going to stand out. So it stands out and it says, come play with me, <laughs> come play on me. And I, as you can see, the kids are loving it, which is uh, exactly what this playground was supposed to be for. Uh, the investment in this playground was $149,000. Um, so it's an upgrade from the previous one and we hope that this one lasts even longer. So we encourage everybody to take care of the plastic structures, uh, look out for vandalism, look out for uh, people misusing the equipment. It's designed for children up to 15 years old. So keep that in mind um, moving forward when you're out here playing, just kind of uh, be mindful of that. We want this structure to last for a long time. Um, 
We also have some other improvements coming to the park. I know that you all have asked for shade structures for this area, so we're going to be working on shading. We're going to be working on shading for the basketball court. Right now we're starting a mural project by the tennis courts that we also resurfaced. So if you play tennis or not, if you go to the tennis courts, all, all that surface there is new. Um, we've been asked to add more tennis courts, which we we're looking into. We need better restrooms, so we're looking at expanding the restrooms. And a lot of you want the skate park that was here back, so we're looking at that. We've got three different designs, so we're going to be asking for community input on which play, uh, skate park structure you prefer, so we can move forward with that project as well. Tomorrow is Dia del Niño, so we did buy some goodies for the kiddos to play with. So um, hopefully they we will you know, just bring your your kids and get a get something so they can enjoy the park with. After this, we have concerts at the park, so stick around. We're gonna have Kix Garcia band uh, playing, and um, what's the other one? Ra uh, Ricky Ram band also. So it's gonna be a country music uh, night. Awesome, awesome here at the park, day at the park. And if you didn't get a chance to see the dog park, you just take the walking trail, uh, or if you wanna come off of Lori Street, there's a parking lot there as well. If you have your dogs uh, any day of the week, we're gonna be open just like regular park hours. Um, so I, again, I wanna thank you guys for being here today, bringing your family out and spending your Saturday evening with us. And again, I'm Vanessa Pettis, your council member. If you ever need anything, uh, I'm here. And at this time, I'd like to invite our city manager to come and say a few words. He wanted to enjoy the event, but you know we're always in work mode, so we're gonna we're gonna ask him to come up here and say a few words. <laughs> and I promise to keep it brief as well, too. But you know, the the city tackles a lot of different projects, a lot of different activities, everything from streets, public safety. But I, I think the things that I, I consider the blessings the most are these quality of life uh, services with the, the parks and recreation. This is what builds the community. This is what that this is what sets family together in, in each one of our neighborhoods. So this is just kind of a fantastic thing. Um, I'm in my I finished my second month. So please don't think I had much to do with this one. But what I can tell you. Is, is that these say, these are very important to me as well too. So as we walk through uh, budgets and everything, you'll see more of this happening. And I think this is what the mayor and the councilors and Mayor Pro Tem Perez are all about, is taking care of the families, taking care of the communities. And so uh, with that, we're going to stay focused on this as well as all that other stuff that we really have to do as well. But these are the really important ones. And I, I think I'll end with uh, just kind of that call to action. Uh, as Mayor Pro Tem uh, Perez had mentioned, this started with you. This starts with your vision. This starts with you talking to her or talking to any one of our, our elected officials or our departments and saying, this is what we would like in our community. This is what we'd like in our neighborhood. And that helps so much. That brings it all together. I think, uh, I, I'm going to end this, though, so I called, call to action. Please help us keep doing this as well, too. But let me end it with just a thank you for the mayor, Mayor Pro Tem Perez, the city council, parks and recreation, and the entire city uh, Laredo staff for all the work. They did a lot of this in-house as well, too. They repurposed all the equipment that's over in the dog park for the use for the dog park. So uh, give them a round of applause for that and give yourselves a round of applause. So enjoy, enjoy tonight. I, I think we got, a, we got a beautiful day here, so I'm looking forward to enjoying it as well too. So thank you for letting me be a part of it. Thank you, Mr. Neb, for your support. As you know, um, we at the City of Laredo City Council, we went on a search for the next city manager and we found Mr. Neb. And Mr. Neb is uh, now a permanent resident of Laredo and he's committed to helping us uh, serve the public and serve you better. And again, uh, thanks to the Parks Department, our, we're gonna, I'm going to call up uh, our uh, director, J.J. Gomez, Parks Director at this time, because Parks is, you know, they're the ones that keep our parks clean. 
and we can't enjoy them without our park staff and our directors here to say a few words. Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem. Thank you for those remarks. Um, I want to thank all of you all. This is this is real special to us. Uh, this is what makes our job what it's worthwhile. This is where there's a lot of stuff that goes behind the scenes that to make this possible. But when it comes to days like this, that you see kids over here playing, moms and dads running around, that's what it's all about. And that's what our department, I'm just the face of the department. All the people that you see helping around from the recreation side to the operation side, they're the ones that need the credit. They're the ones that do it every day. Got here at six in the morning, stayed late, make sure this was done the right way. Because I know this was a long time coming. But like they say, you know, wait, you know, good things come if you wait. So we get, we got a great amenities right behind us. Uh, our parks department has always looked to improve whatever we can. I've already got a couple of goals. You know, let's, can we do, yes, let's do it. It's all about you all. We as public servants, this is our jobs. This is what will put our smiles to a face when we can see that it's worthwhile when you put all that time and energy what, and all the jobs that we do. So again, like Mr. Neb said, this is your this is your place. This is you are you are the owners of this park, just like if it's your front yard or backyard. Let's let's make it better. Let's take care of it. And then we got a lot of things coming to this park. And thanks for Mayor Pro Tem, Miss Bettis. We got she's got a vision. This is her her pride and joy park. They're all are, but this is what this is what rep represents District Seven. Um, and it's only going to get better. I promise you that. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for coming. We got a great concert tonight. So we're going to do these different things. I don't want to hear that. Oh, there's nothing to do here in Laredo. There's a lot of things to do here in Laredo. We got the concerts in the park. We got a lot of stuff coming up. Look at our website. Uh, look at our Facebook. We're always promoting things uh, for kids, adults, for everyone. All right. Thank you all. And enjoy the evening. Thank you, Coach Gomez, for all your hard work and representing the department. Uh, finally, I'd like to call Mr. Antonio Hines, a uh, parent, uh, here to speak a little bit uh, on behalf of uh, the parents in terms of, you know, what something like this it, it means to the residents that enjoy our city amenities. Thank you very much to the councilwoman. Coach Gomez, we've been waiting for this uh, playground for a while. We guys, we do spend a lot of time in this park, everyone, the whole community. The dog park is awesome. We appreciate the hard work. And I know a lot of us residents, we do complain a lot. And sometimes I feel like we're, we're net picking, right? But uh, we are very thankful. We are grateful for the hard work. And we hope to see more improvements soon. Uh, we've been listening to all the stuff you guys have been saying, and we look forward to all the improvements. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Uh, again, so we're here for you. We're here to work for you. You. This is your park. This is your community. This is your city. Um, we're thankful. I'm thankful that I get the opportunity to represent District 7. I appreciate the support. But again, we're all of these um, improvements come at the request of you all. So. Please continue to reach out to us. Let us know what you'd like to see to make your city a better place so you can continue to love Laredo as much as I do and we do. Uh, so we conclude that. We'll cut the ribbon at this time, and we hope that you guys will spend the rest of your night with us here, not overnight, but or your evening uh, with us and enjoy the festivities and continue to enjoy the playground. So thank you so much. Oh. Oh. Yeah!